Well, load up on the garland and the ornaments for your Christmas tree, but hold the slugs, please. The first shipment of trees has reached Honolulu, and crews on both ends of the voyage are working harder to make sure there aren't any gooey stowaways. KITV4's Cam Tran shows us the new measures to make sure tis not the season for infestation. Despite all the pounding and shaking, some creepy crawlies still managed to hitchhike their way to Hawaii on the first shipment of Christmas trees. State inspectors found small slugs and big bugs on some trees today. It's a true bug. It has sucking mouth parts and it feeds on a variety of seeds. Out of the 60 Christmas tree containers that reached Hawaii this week, six containers, or 10 percent, carried non-native critters. That's down dramatically from last year when half of the containers were infested. Oregon, you know, really stepped up and you know ensured that they were doing what they were supposed to, and as a result, all the trees look really good. I mean, very little needle fall, and and in turn, you know, very little insects and and pests. Jonathan Ho says the Oregon Department of Agriculture stepped it up by shaking it up. Oregon inspectors demanded tree farms shake the trees more often before they're shipped to Hawaii. Shaking the trees removes the loose needles, which can oftentimes carry bugs. Everybody shakes at least twice or sometimes even three times with the mechanical shakers, and then they're banging them, as you just saw here, really hard on the ground to make sure that to dislodge all the pests that are still potentially hanging on to the Christmas tree. Workers offloaded the six containers, which didn't pass the pest test, and loaded the trees into this treatment container. Once those Christmas trees are loaded up into the container, they take an extremely hot shower. Inspectors crank up the thermometer to 118 to 120 degrees. Inspectors say that's the temperature it takes to kill all those bugs and slugs that may still be hidden in those Christmas trees. After the steam cleaning, the furs will head to the stores. With the extra labor and steps involved, inspectors say don't be too surprised if those tree prices go up. Consider it the price of going slug free for the holidays. Reporting from Kalihi, Camp Tran, KITV4 News.